everybody is well. My name is Daniel Villarino. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am really happy. Uh, basically I have arrived at the 2,000 subscribers in the channel and also to 100,000 views. And those are two milestones, uh, very important uh, for me and so I want to thank you all for the support. A few days uh, back I've been working on rough turning a few pieces uh, to store in my storage and then uh, leave them there for a few months so that uh, after that I can do the final turnings of these uh, balls. Um, one of them uh, had a knot, uh, the bit of a branch coming out. I didn't realize of that until you know I had a catch and when I had a catch it was a big one and the piece went flying through the air. So, uh, as a consequence of that, um, the, the chuck um, began to wobble a little bit. So today what I'm going to do is uh, try to remove the, the pieces and uh, see if I can clean it, uh, reassemble and avoid this sort of uh, vibration that it has. So that's today's project, let's get to work. Okay. I don't know if you are going to be able to appreciate this, but uh, if you look, I can pass this paper here between the tool rest and this part of the jaw, and, uh, but there is a point right there. You probably can hear the, the noise where it's touching and the paper doesn't go through. So uh, I'm going to disassemble everything, clean it very well and assemble back and see if I can solve that discrepancy.
finish cleaning the body of the chuck, the jaws, and also these sliders that go in these rails here. And now uh, comes the tricky part, which is the assembly. To do the cleaning, I use a dust remover, the one that you use for the computers, uh, to blow away all the, all the debris. And then I lubricated and protected with WD-40 white lithium grease. And also to remove the dust and the rust that was too stuck, I used this uh, bronze brush. Uh, bronze is a metal that is softer than the steel, so it's uh, safe to use it without damaging the steel. Okay, I had to remove this small screw uh, from here, this one, from this point right there, to be able to remove these sliders uh, from the rails. Otherwise, when you are using it, uh, you have that to avoid them to become undone. So now comes the tricky part. Uh, which is the assembly of these sliders back in the body. Uh, for that I have a method and the method is uh, as follows. Let me get the camera closer uh, so you can take a better look. If you look, uh, I take it to the number one position there. I am going to begin to rotate these uh, threads and if you look there, the first thread is appearing. Right there. You see that? That's the first thread. So when the first thread appears on the number one slot, I take it back a bit. I take this slider, slider number one, push it all the way to the to the bottom there and then rotate so that the, it will catch on the first thread. So now I rotate 90 degrees and go to the position number two and I keep rotating until I see that first thread appear on that position which is there. Okay you see there the first thread appearing there. Okay once I have it there, I go backwards a little bit to allow the slider number two to go all the way. And then I rotate forward again so that the first thread is going to catch on this slider. I rotate 90 degrees, go to position number three, wait until the thread appears, which is there, go backwards a bit, then grab the slider number three, put it there, push it all the way, and then I rotate forward to grab that one. Okay, and finally the last one, I move until I see the first thread appear right there, go backwards just a little bit so that this slider number four can get there. I push it all the way in and then grab hold on that slider. That way, let me uh, zoom out a bit. Now, I can have all, all the sliders perfectly centered in the, in, the, in the best position, okay? I hope uh, this method helps. There, you see? That's perfect. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to put back this small screw stop there. Let's see if I can. Be nice 
nicer to have smaller figures <laughs> for this. Okay, so now the stop is there and the only thing that remains is to put, ba put back the jaws. What I did is I moved these sliders about midway open and if you look there is uh, this thong here that fits in this groove so I slide it there and position that so that you can you can see the holes and I do the same for every one. Okay, and now that I have all of them in the right position, I will put all the screws, but I will not tighten them uh, too much because once I have all the screws, I will close these until they are perfectly centered and then I will tighten them. center. I'm going to pass this paper here and here and here. It goes all the way. So basically if you look there, uh, there's a place that is a little closer but is uh, much better than before. Okay my friends, I just finished uh, making the, the maintenance of the, of the chuck and testing it and uh, I am pretty uh, comfortable uh, the way it looks now. Um, it might not be 100% uh, centered but it's probably 99 and uh, that's good enough I guess. So uh, I'm going to see if I do some more turnings, um, try to, to do some rough turnings uh, to test it. And uh, that's it. I just wanted to thank you again for the 2,000 subscribers and all your support and the 100,000 uh, views. I, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, please mark the like button there. Uh, make comments, uh, also any questions, well, put them down there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. That way, uh, every time I uh, upload a new video, you are going to receive a notification. And it will be until the next one. Cheers!